Hey guys, welcome to the second part, tantalum recovery, and in this part we will do this kind of stuff of tantalum. This is a yellow one, I have some here, I start to remove all that silver capacitor, separate only tantalum, but here I got some yellow one, here I got some red one, and some rainbow tantalum. And, uh, here is our tantalum. It's uh, very, very simple to remove. Just take a hammer and uh, see that our tantalum is removed. Very, very fast, very simple. So what we're gonna do Yeah. Uh, we got some silver inside. So we will keep that, all that, and uh, probably we will do some little batch for a silver extraction. They actually, it's very, very fast. could even incinerate that and crush but I actually don't this big one is so cool yeah very nice this one on the side see that very big piece, tantalum. And you don't worry if you smash your tantalum because uh, very very strong see what I tried to say this is a silver shell and tantalum is inside here is our tantalum and this is a silver shell We're gonna keep that. And we'll put that in the nitric patch. This is not, there is not easy way to remove tantalum. The hard work is the only way. Now, in the previous video, a video I forgot to mention these tantalum. It's actually looking like MLCTs, but they're not MLCTs. They are tantalum. You see that big red one? It's tantalum, not MLCTs. See this red one? It 
is blue one. Blue and black line. Basically, every temple is the uh, same inside. You just have different color outside, like this black one. Inside, it's always same. And the green one. And the blue one. See? Inside. It's always the same. They got a lot of different pieces of pantalon. So maybe if you're not sure, best way when you depopulate board is the crack some and see what you got inside. And we're gonna keep that scrums just to try to recover some silver, okay? Okay guys, so after cleaning, this is our tantalum. We got more one inside, the red one. They look like MLTTs, but they not. You see the black inside and here's the wire. I will just put them together with these to see what happened. And uh, this is our leftovers. Uh, we will first, Boil that in the hot nitric acid, then we use the same nitric acid to process these for some silver, probably. And uh, this is our tantalum from our previous video. Look like how they nice clean. I think that I got a half mount from this. But never mind. So what we're gonna do first? We'll just put in the scale uh, this amount and see how much we get loose in the nitric acid batch. We got 29.6 gram. Now we add some nitric acid here and uh, put that on a low heat, okay? Because cold nitric acid cannot wash your uh, tantalum from this look to look like this. Okay, so we add some little amount of nitric acid, clean nitric acid, and uh, they immediately change color, uh, so probably start to dissolve some base metal from that uh, little wires which stay. Okay guys, so after washing, this is our tantalum. It's mostly a gray and green one. So now we will see on the scale. Okay. So we got so we got 26.9 grams. So almost 27 gram. Clean tantalum.
it's okay. This one go the same with my other tantalum and I'll keep that until I get one kilogram then I'll try to find some buyer for, for this okay in the meantime we put some nitric inside these just a little amount and we lately add that nitric from the tantalum See, we got some reaction. Not too much, but we got some. We're gonna leave that now. Okay guys, so I started to filter that solution. It's still dirty, but never mind. We just want to drop some silver from it. And if you see, I got just a little bit silver already there because I washed that jar with the tap water. And when solution drop, first couple of drop, the tap water is actually a drop, some silver chloride. Hey guys, here in this water I got some table salt dissolved and let drop some gold, some silver, sorry. Yeah, pretty cool. You actually never get from this capacitor, you never get, I don't know, big amount of silver because uh, it's always uh, a cloudy drop, you see that, and need maybe a 24 hours to settle down because uh, it's a small amount of silver, never get something big, okay? But why waste something? Now we leave that to settle down. The amount is increased because I dilute the filter with the water so okay let's leave that settle down and see how much we got silver okay okay look at that we got some silver chloride settle down still we need to wait till everything settle down then we filter that convert and uh, See how much silver, not much, but we will see. And after converting that silver chloride and melting, we got one point seven gram of silver. So actually, at my opinion. This, uh, this kind of uh, tantalum contain more silver than these uh, in metallic tube, except when is the way that, uh, when is the situation that uh, all the tube is from silver, okay? So guys, I hope you like this video and uh, see you around from, a, so from some next process. And uh, I wish you luck, please subscribe to the channel and uh, like, share, comment, whatever, whatever else you want and uh, subscribe, have fun, make gold, see you around guys. And on the end I put together all my tantalum from these two process, these two video. See, look very beautiful and uh, total weight from all these two process is 118.1 gram that point one is probably a bag so 118 gram of tantalum